welcome back. Um, I do apologize, I haven't posted a video in about two weeks or so. Um, I've been a little bit busy lately, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to doing these weekly. So this week, I'm actually gonna be doing another DIY project, um, and which is gonna be how to make your own canvas print. This is a great project for you to do with engagement photos. Uh, if you're having an engagement party and you already had engagement photos made, this is a really great um, idea for decor to have a nice big canvas print of your favorite engagement photo or this is something that you can also post or have displayed at your actual wedding. Um, so it's really, really nice and it's also cool to know how to do this for when you actually have your wedding pictures back because it's a really nice way to you know, hang up on your walls and everything like that. So I really, really love this project. I'm gonna be showing you how to do that and it's actually really easy and very cost effective. Um, I actually was interested in purchasing a canvas print from my photographer after the engagement photo shoot that I had and he quoted me like $200, $300, which I thought was crazy and it cost me like less than 50 bucks. So I hope you guys really enjoy this and let's get started. First, what you're gonna need is acrylic coating. I got this specifically at gluefast.com. I will go ahead and leave all the information for this in the description box so that you can get it from them if you would like. You're also going to need some glue. Um, I grabbed wood glue, but uh, pretty much the main thing that you need to make sure of is that the glue that you use is white. You're also going to need a stapler. This is just my regular stapler that I have on my desk. You will need a small paint roller. Um, I believe this is four inches um, in length. You're going to need a flat edge, um, so I'm just using a little Ikea family uh, card, but pretty much just anything flat. Um, you're also going to need the actual canvas for your canvas print picture. And of course, the most important thing is the actual picture that you are going to be using. This is one of our wedding pictures. Now, as far as the sizing goes, obviously you can make this any size that you want, but the main thing is that your picture is at least two inches bigger all around from the canvas that you choose. So my picture measures 16 by 24, and the canvas that I'm using is 14 by 18. So that'll give me some room all the way around to work. And then I, um, I'm also going to be using a pillowcase. Uh, this is just to protect the picture because you are going to put it face down when we get started. So I'm just going to put this down on my workstation. That way that my, uh, my picture doesn't get scratched. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to start by putting the pillowcase down. And then you're going to place your picture face down on top of the pillowcase. Next, we're going to put the canvas face down on top of the picture and kind of, you know, center it as much as you can. And then what you're going to do is using the pillowcase so that you don't get fingerprints all over your picture, start kind of folding the picture to the canvas. So uh, you're just trying to make, uh, you know, the mark on this side. Okay, so next thing, what we're gonna do first is actually glue the picture onto the canvas. So go ahead and flip it over and I'm literally just gonna put glue straight onto the canvas. And then what I'm gonna do is Literally with my finger, I'm just going to spread this out. You can also use like a paintbrush or something, but um, 
I don't have one handy, so I'm just using my finger. So what you're going to do now is go ahead and flip it over. Okay, so once you have that down, this is where you're going to go ahead and use your card. And you're going to work from the center out to make sure there's no bubbles. And you can actually go under the canvas to get any bubbles out that are in here. Okay, so when you feel like you have done a pretty good job, just go ahead and lift this up and kind of double check. And that looks pretty good. I don't see any bubbles. And next what we're gonna do is take care of the sides. So, first things first, kind of fold these over so that it goes all the way around the canvas. Okay, so next what we're going to do is staple down the sides. Um, I'm going to start with the bottom. And what you're going to do is take your stapler and open it. And um, so you're going to staple down like this. So what I'm going to do is I actually start from the middle and work my way out. So fold it over and, you know, hold it really tight. Put your stapler down and staple so that you have a little staple right there. And just repeat that process. I leave about an inch or so between staples. Okay, now when you have the top and the bottom done, you're going to notice that the sides are like this. So what you're going to do is grab a pair of scissors and you're going to cut along the bottom right here so you can fold this little flap in. So you're going to go ahead and do that. And you'll be able to just fold that in just like that. And then um, it might stick out a little bit up here. So kind of do the same thing. Cut this down. And you'll have that little part go flat. And before you fold this over and start stapling, go ahead and do that on the other side. So now that you have that done, you can go ahead and fold the whole thing in. Now you notice my picture in particular, it's a, uh, the sides are a lot larger than um, the top and the bottom. So I'm actually going to trim this down probably in half so that it doesn't stick out like this. And this doesn't have to be perfect. This is the back of your picture so nobody will see it. So I've gone ahead and cut that. And then before you staple down, check the corners to make sure that they look okay. If you feel like you need to trim just a little bit more, go ahead and do so. So that looks pretty good. Let me check the other side. Looks like I need to cut this down just a little bit. Okay, 
So once you are happy with the sides, go ahead and start stapling. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Once you have, are done stapling everything on all sides, kind of go back and see if any of the staples need to be redone. For example, right here in the corner, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it, but this one is kind of raced up a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it and redo that. And I just use scissors. Okay, so when you're done, your picture should look something like this. And all of your edges are clean. As you can see, the picture goes all the way around. What you're gonna do next is go ahead and take your acrylic coating. You are literally going to pour this right on top of the picture. So I do this kind of like a big dollop and it's really thick you'll see it so I do a big dollop like that and then you're going to take your paint roller and start spreading this from the center out so this acrylic coating it's what's going to give your canvas print the texture of the canvas itself. And once it's spread, just kind of do evenly up and down. Once it is completely coated, then you're gonna kinda wanna go in order. So I'm gonna do up and down first. Once you've gone up and down, go side to side. You're gonna notice that the color right now looks white. Let me see if I can lift this up so you can see it. But I promise that when it dries, it will dry clear. So don't freak out uh, when this looks white at first, okay? And I'm gonna do this process again, going side to side and up and down. Once you have that done, we are actually going to do the sides of it as well. So lift this up. Okay. Once you have gone all the way around, I'm going to do the top one more time in case the edges, in case while you were doing the edges, the texture gonna got, kind of got messed up a little bit. Alright, so when you have evenly um, coated this with the acrylic, you're going to go ahead and just let this dry overnight. Okay guys, so here is the finished product. As you can see, this will dry clear once you let this dry overnight. And um, here's another example of another one that I did of a picture of my cat, just to show you guys a couple of samples. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you guys have any questions, please leave comments down below, and have a great rest of your week.